Everybody, just get in a little bit closer. We're a family here. A little closer. <laughs> my name's Rob Moles. This is Mike, Michael Myatt. We have a couple of things we want to say to y'all. Um, gentlemen, ladies of Gonzaga, congratulations, ladies. Fantastic performance today. Huge jump from where you guys were just a year ago. It was inspiring to watch. Gentlemen, uh, I think that was, I don't think, that was the single greatest conference performance in the history of this school. You guys are building a legacy and it is amazing to watch that. Um, as many of you know, uh, a group of us alums have also been working on a legacy, a legacy that we hope to merge with the legacy that you guys are building, both men and women. Um, we have uh, been lucky. We've got two fantastic coaches that have uh, a, an unrivaled commitment to building this program into a, a dynasty. Uh, but they aren't the first pillars of this program. Um, so today I want to acknowledge one of the most important pillars of the program from early. So uh, I'm Rob Bowles. I think a lot of you uh, at least know my name. Uh, and uh, to quote Andy, was it Andy Phillips? Um, who, uh, who knows me as that annoying guy on social media? A couple years ago, uh, Michael. Uh, gave me the honor of asking me to help him with this project that we've been working on. And uh, a lot of the alumni know that a year ago we, uh, we launched this project in earnest. Uh, and I said at the time we were going to get it done in a year. And I know a lot of people doubted that we could get this done in a year. Damn it, we got it done. We got it done in one year. Uh, and uh, it's been my singular uh, privilege and pleasure to get to know a lot of you via social media and, and now with the alumni house in person and uh, you, you're just fantastic people and I'm so happy to be part of this family. Um, when I last wore that uniform back in the early 1990s, um, we, didn't, we didn't have the resources that, that our school has now. and. Uh, so at that time, the program was held together by uh, a few people who gave way more of themselves to this team than anybody could have asked for, than anybody could have expected. And today, our project uh, is going to honor one of those people. So. Enough talking, let's get this thing done. Uh, Patrick, could you grab that? Hidden. Yes. Yes. 3,000 meter record hole for Gonzaga coming around the bend. There you wow, go. Whatever it is. It's a relay. Hey, Tom, can you, can you come here? Yeah, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> help a little bit. Don't forget your gallbladder. <laughs> Wait, I got it. Wait, come here, Tom. Can, can you read this, Tom, so everybody can hear it?
Coach Tyson, Coach Stewart, could you come on up here? And Tom? So again, this is the Tom Fuchs Alumni Legacy Scholarship for, for Gonzaga Cross Country and Track. Uh, it's perpetual. It's forever. It's $2,500 to start. But a lot of you young people, when you get into the working world, you can contribute this. $2,500 is going to be $3,000. It's going to be $3,500, etc., etc. Um, and it, it's forever. Okay. So, congratulations, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> that are involved with the Alumni House and all of you guys that that helped make this happen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. Uh, one, one, one more thing, one more thing. Um, as you all know, and we, and I'll, I'll share the thread with you, it's been going for over a year now. Uh, <laughs> wow, you guys all knew we, about we, this? We, <laughs> we involved, uh, we, 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 we we put Tom's name on this because he's an important part of the program for us and has been for 30 years. And um, nobody knows Tom better than Eric Thompson. And, and Eric, can you come up and say a few words? I'm shaking. I'm shaking in my bones. <laughs> Tom to be one of those guys that had that aspiration about what this program could become. When I was a freshman and Ted come in, Tom was already here, clearly the leader of the team, and already had that vision that, that Gonzaga as a program was going to be mixing up with the program and the WCCs. And uh, not only was Tom a stalwart of that program for, for the four years that I was there, but when we lost the coach at the end of that cycle, who stepped forward and essentially volunteered to be the coach. It was Tom. Uh, Tom already had a job, he was already married, already had his first kid on the way. But he stepped forward to be the volunteer coach on top of all those commitments because he's the kind of guy he is because he said, I want this program to be mixing it up with Portland. And in your entire reign as a coach, I don't think you guys ever got set less than second in the WCC. Different era, guys. <laughs> Different era, BYU, but still, you kept that, that momentum of that program going, and I just want to say that it, it's a it's a real legacy that you have been a part of since the beginning. These guys have done an absolutely incredible job of getting the whole Gonzaga community together. When I share with you what they've done to make this happen, it's, it's really something else. And I think you, they are also byproduct of the, the work that you did as a coach. I'm honest. I yeah. You know, uh, a week ago I had gallbladder surgery and I was texting these guys saying, I, you know, I'm not going to make it because I just missed a bunch of work and I'm just going to switch to a new job and I just said, I'm going to have to sacrifice this trip. The conference called me in and said, it's critical that you're down there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm super honored. Uh, just going forward, every year, it seems we're looking at the best team in Gonzaga's ever had. It's just awesome. To, to you guys, to Tyson and Coach Stewart, uh, just seeing these improvements from year to year and looking at the roster, <coughs> seeing what's coming down the pipe, it's just it's really awesome. And you know, even this year, uh, and into regionals, you guys are worthy. You're all worthy. So, choked up just a second. Don't count yourself out. Really, go in there with an attitude. That's what I've got when I ran these guys. So, thank you. Bank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we want to again thank, thank uh, all the alums. Um, I want to thank all the parents of our athletes for being here, and friends of the athletes for being here. Um, next year we're going to be in the Bay Area, somewhere in the East Bay, we believe. Uh, this thing keeps growing, it's crazy. 
I hear rumors that Colleen Thompson, uh, uh, Derek's wife, they met by the way, they were both on the cross country team, and they, yes, yeah, say no more. <laughs> uh, they got married, and uh, Colleen wants to spearhead a, a, a lady's house next year for alums. So uh, uh, it's, it's growing on that side too, so it's really, really, really cool. She's actually got four of her teammates coming to the regionals next week in Colfax and into her band house from our same era. Started with. And Colfax in two weeks, we do have a little uh, a gathering uh, Saturday for alums, friends, family here in town. We're going to go over to Jack and Dan's. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly the time. Five to seven. Five to seven. It's just a hangout place. There's no rules other than be nice, follow the law. But, uh, <laughs> we're there to just you know celebrate us too there at Jack and Dan's. Then during the spring, you know, Wednesday weekend, we have a Saturday venue. Uh, I'm still working on my guest speaker. Uh, uh, Bernard McGott turned me down, darn it. Uh, but I'm working on Shalane Flanagan. Um, you know, fingers crossed on, on getting her. She's amazing. Uh, but we're really looking forward to those events uh, down the road too. Is there a rep I'm not trying to embarrass you or anything, but is there a representative from the ladies team and the men's team, if they don't mind being a little spontaneous and just share something? With everybody here, I would, I would love that. I think it'd be good for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, for all the people that showed up, all the alumni, um, older and younger, Kellen's still like five years old, I know, so. At heart. Yeah, it's kind of weird thinking that he's out of college. But uh, all the work you guys do doesn't go unnoticed. For some reason, I'm in the alumni group chat, which is cool. Uh, I like it, though. It's pretty cool. Like, a week ago, during the phone a I posted uh, to donate to our program, which I felt bad because all you guys already do. But I remember I looked back, like, five minutes later, and there had been, like, 80 people at least viewed it. So it's pretty cool to see it's such a large community. Uh, I've been here for four years, and it seems like I'm, like, same community, but it seems like it's a whole different program. Like, I remember freshman year, like, Ian Goldeisen playing some shitty music in the, like, terrible locker room. There was like a maze to get to the showers. And now we got like a pretty nice locker room with the TV and a nice sound system and stuff. Normatex. Yeah. Normatex, better music. So, I mean, don't think that your work and like finances don't go unnoticed. And it's been pretty cool to watch. So I know we all appreciate you guys coming down. It's pretty cool to see all the faces. Um, being cross country, it's not like we're the biggest fan affair, especially on campus. So. It's pretty cool coming to stuff like this and like after races my phone's just flooded with texts like half the numbers i honestly don't even know so um it's pretty cool all that stuff i should probably update my contacts yeah. but it's cool to see all that stuff and i mean we all really appreciate it so okay. um, i feel like sometimes when you're especially not living in spokane it's kind of hard to tell whether the work you're doing is, is getting get results but it definitely is i know we really appreciate it uh, all the work heather's done to help our program grow and stuff i mean Scholarship, Tom, that's well deserved, so we really appreciate it, guys. And gals. You're really getting put on the spot here. weird, too. Blad check, Brad. Blad check, Brad. Mm. I sense a connection. Yeah, we're really appreciative of everyone's hard work. Um, like Peter said, it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, it's awesome having so many alumni here. Like, I honestly don't know another program that has this, so that's really amazing. Um, we're in a really cool era. Like our program, uh, we're really excited under Coach Dew and we have a lot of really big goals and we're um, continuing to reach towards them and like that idea of like, you know, knowing we're worthy, like we're, we're totally, you know, we're there and we're confident and we're excited to move forward and, um, you know, really in, be inspired by like our team's past, you know, like our conference win a couple years ago. We definitely like you know, um, pull on those mentors, and um, we're really lucky to have all of you guys here with us and cheer us on. And you know, I know that it doesn't go unnoticed by all of our team too. So thank you. Okay, I think we're good. Aren't we? Okay, so class dismissed.